Hello and welcome back to my channel. So if you've been following along on this journey of me building a prosthetic hand, you'll know that I'm to the part where I'm working on the grip pattern selector. So this piece of prosthetic horology that I designed and fabricated over the last week is what's going to be mechanically selecting the grip patterns on my new prosthetic hand. As I cycle the control lever, the output arms either open or close the lock on the fingers, generating the six different grip patterns. So the six grip patterns that I've settled on for this build are all the fingers locked closed, all the fingers open, like what I'm using right now, pinky locked, ring pinky locked, ring pinky locked open, and index. I know that everybody's concerned about me having the ability to flip somebody off, but I'm really not that type of person. I didn't spend a considerable amount of time flipping people off when I had two natural hands, so adding a prosthetic hand didn't really change that. So the way this works is as the gears rotate, the little pins that ride in the grooves on the side of the gears either move up or down, controlling the rocker arms, pushing and pulling the cables to then to either pull or push the bell crank on the side of my hand to lock or unlock the finger. So here's the matrix that I set up in CAD to determine the position of each one of the rocker arms throughout the cycle. And here's how I came up with the pattern that I cut into the side of the gears for the cams to follow. If you look closely, you'll notice that I'm able to use the same pattern twice on two sides of the gears, making it so I can control five outputs with only three sides of the gears. Once everything is finalized, it'll mount approximately in this location, and the control cables will interface with the selector block. Right now, the idea for cycling is for the motion from zero positive to be for splay, and from zero negative to be cycling. I'll accomplish that by having a sliding pin system here with a spring detent, so I can have positive intentional control. We'll see how well that works, but right now that's the idea. Let me know what you think in the comment section. Thanks for watching.